Hey, what's up guys? I'm back with another one. Um, this time I've got a new plan. I think it's gonna work. So I've printed a new mandrel. This one is real beefy compared to the last one. Shouldn't collapse on me. And I've also got this cool stuff right here from Dunstone. This is heat shrink tape. This is what they use on tubing. So when you're making a carbon tube, uh, they do the layup around a the mandrel, they roll it. And then they use this tape to go around it. And um, so that tapes it up and then it's heat shrink. So you apply heat and it shrinks so you get some really good compaction. So we're gonna give this a try. And so I'm pretty much ready to go. So let's mix some epoxy. <laughs> Okay, well it's been about 20 hours. Um, part is cured, epoxy fully cured. Um, it looks round, <laughs> just to compare it with the previous one. Take a look. Um, all right, let's unwrap this guy and see what it looks like. <laughs> As predicted, I have these voids, these kind of creases in where there was, you know, voids in the, um, the heat shrink film. Um, part should still work out, and yeah, it's, it's looking pretty good. Now, does it fit in a 42 millimeter tube? Oh, look at that. <laughs> nice and snug, just what we need. Perfect. Well, there it is, trimmed. Now I'm just gonna do a series of hand sanding to bring these ridges down, smooth them out a little bit. Um, and then it's gonna be a matter of cutting the slits that I need um, in order for it to clear the bushings in the, in the keel. <laughs> Okay, so I've pretty much finished uh, wet sanding and now I'm working on getting the 
dissolvable mandrel out. You can see it turns to this <laughs> nice goopy mess in there. <laughs> so now I get to uh, dig that out of there over the next uh, hour or so. So that'll be fun. Yeah. All right, here's the part. I got the ends cut and I got um, almost all of the internal mandrel out of there. Uh, that process is <laughs> a little bit um, bit more involved than kind of what I would like uh, it it does dissolve but there's a lot of it in there so you end up with a big handful of uh, sticky goop and um, so it's a little messy and I didn't shoot much of that process because I don't really have a, a good way to get the camera in the room uh, where we have a, a sink back there but anyways so here it is um, it, it overall looks okay uh, all these all these wrinkles are from the um, the wrinkling in that shrink tape. So in order to get a you know a, a, a perfectly smooth finish, you'd have to have the tape, you know, not leave these wrinkles. So I'm not quite sure if that's possible with that shrink wrap tape or or what. But um, either way, it's a functional part. Um, should be plenty strong, and most importantly, it fits. Here's a piece of 42 millimeter tubing, and you can see it slides in. This is the uh, the 25 millimeter tubing I'm going to use for the camera boom and so that slides in there. That's a nice snug fit. So this will get two holes drilled for uh, pins to hold that in place and uh, yeah, good to go. Okay so next up I need a drill guide so I can uh, drill those holes through the tube in the right spot. So that's what this is. Uh, this is large enough. I'll be able to put the nose boom mount and the 25 millimeter tube in there. I'll have some bushings and I can drill the two holes hopefully right where they need to go and I should be able to print this pretty quickly. Okay, I got my drill guide printing. So the next step is to set up the glider so I can mount this uh, and get ready to locate the, uh, the slots I need to cut. I don't really need the whole glider set up, just the wings tension so I can measure from the boom to a point on the wing to make sure that the boom is centered. Okay, so I've removed the uh, end cap here on the keel, and so you can see there's these bushings, bushings that go through the keel for the bolts that hold the nose plate together, and there's this one little screw. So what I'm going to do is remove that, just this screw, and then I can slide the mount in. Uh, I'll be able to get it in a, a couple of inches, which will, you know, hold it good enough, and then what I'm going to do is slide in my my boom here, my pole, and then I can measure from a hard point on the wing, on each wing, out to the end of the pole here. That way I can make sure that the mount is centered. And then once I know it's centered, I can mark the location of those bushings so I can cut the slots. Hopefully that makes sense. <laughs>
All right, here it is, basically all finished. I uh, got it mounted in there, screws in there. It's pretty darn secure. Got my pole here. The only thing I need to do is drill the holes here to mount the boom to the to the adapter mount. But that's printing right now, so I'm pretty much done until that's done. Made a tool. Made a tool. Um, 3D printed drill jig. Have a couple of uh, steel inserts in there for uh, bushings for the drill bit. So this fits in there like this. Nice snug fit on the first try. All the way down and I'll just line it up and drill some holes. Okay, well here it is. I'm basically finished. Got the screws in there. Fits good, fits nice and snug. I put a little piece of uh, UHMW tape to make it fit a little a little tighter and it gets bunched up, but I think that'll that'll work okay. So then I have a 1,000 millimeter boom here, and this is my uh, special angle adapter bracket, so I can couple two together. And then all the way down here is the camera, which doesn't have a lens on it because the lens that I use um, is the one that I have on this camera right here. So uh, I can't show that at the same time, but this gives you the idea of what what we got going on here. So yeah, super looking forward to taking this out and getting some pictures with it. I, I still need to uh, modify the, the nose cone, which if I can get it around here. The nose cone goes on like this. So I need a hole in the nose cone for the boom to exit. But I'm not gonna cut a hole in the nose cone until I can get a new one made because um, then we can't fly the glider. So um, that's where it is. And so hopefully I'll get to fly it soon. Thank you.